Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn here, the Go Live Granny. And I'm just trying to readjust my... Whoops, sorry, folks. There we go. And it's, um, it's the Go Live Granny here, live streaming on Friday, the 26th of February, 2021. And it's Friday. It's the end of another busy week. And I'm just going to take the sound down on here. And see if we can find the comments. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, Paul. Um, let's just go here. So how's everybody been today? I know that Paul and Rachel have just been watching Steve-O. Steve-O has just done about a two, an hour and a half or two hour broadcast. And I was, um, I was, went in his broadcast as well. So wait a minute, let's just see. Here we go. Um, hello, Kath. Hello, Steve-O. <laughs> now, steve has just finished his broadcast. I told him he had to be off broadcast by the time I came on so that he could come into my broadcast. I bought, He brought me into his broadcast and I brought him into my broadcast. So, so Steve-O, why don't you come in, to, in and join me? Um, I hope you're up for joining me. Let's give you, let's try if you're there. I don't know if you're there, steve -O. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can add Steve-O now. Let's uh, see if we can have Steve in. Hello, Michelle. Nice to see you. Um, so there we go. Let's see if Steve can come in. <laughs> I don't know. Steve, you have to have your camera the same way around as me, your phone the same way around as me. Whoops, I've just dropped the knitting needle. That's not a good look, is it? Woo. Let's see. So I don't know, Steve, can you? Can you? Um, well, hello. Ah, hello. Fancy seeing you again. <laughs> I just seen you about two and a half hours ago. <laughs> you, you've only just stopped, haven't you? I did. I, I, I made sure that I was actually... Um, Scotland kept on saying to me, do one more song, do one more song. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll get this one, i get this one. And I said, I have to go. And the Pompey Chimes were at 10 o'clock. I'm thinking, oh no. And then Scotland came back and said, oh, we're going to be running late tonight and uh, we're going to stay here for a little longer. And I thought, no, I can't. I've got to go. <laughs> No, I dropped out of your broadcast about half past nine and just went and had a little refresher, you know, just just trolling the internet for a little while, just for about, you know, just to get myself, you know, out of that mode and into this mode. <laughs> so there we go. So Steve-O, oh, whoa, hang on, my camera's falling down now. Wait a minute, what's happening here? Steve-O's frozen. Are you frozen? Oh, wait a minute, why is he frozen? Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to see if I can. Um, oh, he's uh, Steve O's. I'm gonna, right, I'm going to put it, send him out and bring him in again. See if I can. Right, because Steve O froze. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see if I can get him in again. There we go. Let's give him another try. Oh, Steve O. I think, Steve O, you're going to have to ask. Steve O, you're going to have to ask to join the broadcast again. Um, because for some reason you you froze there. So anyway, let's just chat to everybody while while you're requesting. You, so hit the button to ask to come join the broadcast because I can't add you at the moment, Steve-O. So let's see, uh, Paul, Tegan, Bethy. Oh, hang on, I've lost my comments. Uh, let's see everybody. Um, so um, Bethy, Michelle, Jackie, Ailey, Jackie. Okay. Oh, Jackie again. Jackie twice. Oh, there we. Uh, Yvonne has shared already. Um, Dean's in, and um, Ailey saying it's 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 my fault you're late. <laughs> it's my, it's her fault I'm late. Um, uh, no, it's my fault she's late. She's been watching Steve-O. But oh, yeah, you could have you could have stopped watching Steve-O. You didn't have to keep. <laughs> you, you know, it doesn't matter. You can watch who you want to, folks. So anyway, um, I think I saw that uh, you kept him going to the end. Excellent. Hi Tina, nice to see you. Hi Linda. Um, hopefully Tegan, yeah, Tegan is, um, she's still suffering. So Tegan, we're sending you lots of love. Let's see if I can get Steve-O back in again. Here we go. Let's see. He froze, his, his signal was bad, so he froze. Um, Joanne's in the house, lovely to see you, Joanne. Haven't seen you for a while. Joanne's coming in there from Canada. Um, so yes, Tegan, we hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, Andrew's in the house. Andrew from Scotland. Ailey's from Scotland. 
Um, <laughs> it's addictive. It is addictive. Um, there we go. Yes, hopefully you will all you'll feel better. Hello, Kim. Nice to see Kim in there. Um, and who else is coming in? Lots of you, Mar Marganita. Lovely to see you as well. Um, we're just waiting for Steve to see if he can join the broadcast. Uh, Yvonne McAvee's in. Hello, Yvonne. Um, oh dear, poor, poor Tegan. Well, we're sending you lots of love, Tegan, and hoping you're going to feel much better very soon. Um, so I will just keep chatting on. Um, and who knew that today was Wear It Bright Day for Wessex Cancer Trust, which is why I'm wearing it bright. Um, I'm wearing it bright down here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, no answer from the live video guest. Hang on. I'll have to. Yes, I saw, I saw that, Tegan. I've um, accepted those. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Crystal. Um, so let's try. Uh, poor Steve is trying to get into the broadcast. He may, maybe it's a signal issue. I don't know. Steve, -O, have you got your. F I hope you. Oh, there you are. Try it again. Where did you there go? you go. I keep turning the camera around Where did everywhere. You... Uh, no, there you go. Listen, I. I know you're a magician and I know you make lots of things disappear, but you're not supposed to make yourself disappear. <laughs> i tell you what, I, it's two and a half hours being on air and you just think, well, what's going on? It all went pear shaped. <laughs> so your sound's a bit, a bit soft. I don't know if you can put it up a bit, can you? Uh, I could do. I let's just have a quick look. Hold on. Uh, let's try that. How's that? That's a bit better, yeah. Yeah, yeah so um, it's been really good. I, I was only going to come on for about half an hour. But two and a half hours later, it's just amazing. <laughs> so, so introduce yourself for people who don't know who you are. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve-O. I'm um, an all international um, magician, entertainer uh, from the Isle of Wight. And I travel all over the place. Um, my son's 16. He is a following magician uh, taken after me, which is amazing. So, yeah. Um, and I love what I do, really. Um, I'm a children entertainer, a magician, a hypnotist, clairvoyant stuff. I do anything, so I love it. But I know you in a different guise, don't I? You do, yes. <laughs> you know me as something else. Um, in this job, you have to have a second job as well. So, yeah, I, I have a second job as well, yes. You're still very soft, Steve. How's that? Any good? Um, I, I, I hope so. I'm turning Let's the volume see. up, and it doesn't go any louder than that. Okay, righty ho. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, so, so Steve-O is a live streamer. How long have you been live streaming? Um, don't know, actually, on and off, really. I, I can't remember, a couple of years or so, I suppose. On and off, right, yeah. yes. So, Jolly good. It, it, it's scary at the beginning. The scariest thing at the beginning is doing it, and, um, and I don't script anything. I just carry on, and uh, I've had people come back to me and say, Steve, we put the kids to bed, we've had our tea, we've gone for a walk, we've taken the dogs out come back on and you're still broadcasting you know it's still going <laughs> that's right <laughs> well we've got a birthday girl in so i hope you're going to help me sing happy birthday are you oh you can i can even uh don't know if we've got any music have we got music for happy birthday oh yes let me leave that as long, is it is it copyright because otherwise we might no no i'll out. be fine with that you'll be fine you'll be all right okay uh, let me just all pop right, it well, in um, so we're, we're just going to get everybody to put the emojis in because they have to put the birthday emojis in before we sing. Okay, I'll just and fire up we can. Um, I've got yeah. the birthday bu bubbles ready. So um, Janice has been hibernating. Um, wait a minute, let's go back and see what's the comments. A, what's the person's with. name? Do you know? It's ja uh, No, sorry, not Janice. It's Joanne. Joanne. Joanne's been hibernating during the polar vortex and celebrated her birthday yesterday. She's in Canada. Okay. She's one of our right, Canadian. Ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here Are we you go. Ready? Then. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, we got to. Yeah, okay. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joanne. Joanne. Happy birthday to you. Do it again, because I yeah. couldn't hear, because I put the bubble machine on it. I couldn't hear you. Birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Joanne. Joanne. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to, you. to you. And you know, it's not usually that they get two of us singing. You know, everybody sings at home, but they can only ever usually hear me singing. Well, there you go. 
So there we go. I've got about three or four verses to this. <laughs> All right, well, carry on. I'll let you do it then. You sing the oh, rest. Hang on, hold on. Hold on. As long as it's good and polite. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's come to the end of it now. Let's see if we can find. You can actually get them. Um, oh, this, oh, this, this, this one. This, this is a quick one. This is um, for the Stevie Wonder when one. Oh, no, 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 that's too long. Um, I'll find the other one. Let's find another happy birthday one. Um, all right. Happy birthday, Sweet 16. Would that be the one? I mean, <laughs> Happy birthday, Sweet 16. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, Are you Sweet it. 16, Joanne? <laughs> this is it for Joanne then? Happy birthday to you from Steve O'Kai. Happy birthday to you from Lynn. Happy birthday, dear Joanne, wherever you are. Happy birthday to you. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy your birthday, wherever you are. I don't know what time it is in Canada. Joanne, what time is it in Canada? She'll let us know. I'm glad you like my watercolour wig. There you are. You see, I think Steve needs one of my wigs, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you one. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank, that'd be good. And I'll wear it in my other one. <laughs> Actually, I could wear it in the show. I'll what's, wear it in the show. That'd be good. What's your colour? Uh, Multicolour would be good in the show. Multicolour, yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it, today is Wear It Bright for Wessex Cancer Day. Cancer Trust, Wessex Cancer Trust. And this time last year, um, we were supporting, just before lockdown, we were doing a lot of supporting for Wessex Cancer Trust. And um, we were, some of us were in Kiva's Cafe doing a, a, a fundraiser and wearing it bright there. Um, but alas, it's not to be this year, is it? <laughs> nah, that's it, that's it. But, it's, uh, this, this COVID thing's changed the whole world of how we operate. Um, and if it wasn't for social media, I think most of us would be stuck, um, you know, with the Zoom team meetings and stuff like that. I think if it wasn't for that sort of, and Facebook, I think we'd all be stuck. So, Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to just say hello to um, Rob. Robert came in there. Joanne's loving this because she hasn't been in the broadcast for ages and she comes in and she gets a duet. My well, there you go. <laughs> I'll send them the invoice. <laughs> They'll all want a duet now every time it's their birthday. You realise that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, by all means. We do it. Yeah, we, we can do it. We can do a duet, yeah. And for those of you who don't know, don't know, Steve Rowe is coming in from the Isle of Wight, which is where I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> is Kai there? Is Kai around? Bring He's in, in the other room. Um, I'll go and see if I can find him. Hang on, two seconds. I'll go and find him. He's in okay, the other room. Hold on. Right. Okay, because um, Steve O's son, Kai, is, um, is doing very well on TikTok, I believe. He's got, lo oh, it's 3.30 in the afternoon in Canada, so she's still got a good part of, hello, Kai, how hello. are you doing? Good. You alright? Yeah. You're having. Oh, are you? Are you? Are you chatting on a call? No, I'm not chatting. It's fine. All right, I'll let you go. <laughs> Is that right? Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Is he on a call? Yeah, he's um. I don't know what he's up to actually. He's up to something in there and uh, zooming or doing something like that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm right. Joanne right. is in um in Alberta. Joanne. Oh, okay. Is in, and it's half past. Half past three in the afternoon. Oh, wow. There we go. Um, That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, has, Andrew has recorded us. He recorded the birthday singing and he's going to post, the, post it on the group. <laughs> <laughs> Just that bit. Awesome. Oh, dear, dear. You, you, and they'll, be, they'll all be taking screenshots too because they make all sorts of screenshot oh, pictures. Oh, excellent. Of. Okay. But there you go. That'd be good. That's good. So, um, so good evening Chantel, good evening Patricia, um, and um, let's see who else came in. Barbara came in there as well. Lots and lots of people interacting. We'll have to get them to come onto your broadcast sometime. Yeah, I'm going to hopefully did tomorrow, share. I'm going to hopefully do a quiz tomorrow before you come on. So I'll do a music quiz or something tomorrow night. Um, but the winner can win a, like a lottery ticket, which I send them. So um, I have, uh, go on. So sorry, they don't actually on. pay me anything. Um, but I actually give them a lottery ticket from a, like a lotto. So what happens is I will send them a copy of it um, and hopefully they can win nothing to whatever the jackpot is. Yeah, I forgot to do a ticket tonight. It was 180 million oh, on, man. The, on, 
Um, and you mentioned something in your book. I think you were broadcasting. Well, you were broadcasting from about half past seven, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, you, I just went into your <laughs> broadcast and you said something about the lottery. That's what you said. And I looked at the clock and it was 7.31. I was too late to do my lottery ticket. Well, there Never you go. Mind. Never mind. There we go. So, yeah, so, I'll um, win one of yours. Hopefully tomorrow night I, I won't do something like that. Because I know Sunday night kai has got the competition thing. So, yeah. Um, or the charity thing he's doing. So, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, well, you, if you let me know when Go you're ahead. going live, I can share it. Okay, yeah. We can all and get a few people on mm -hmm. there and do that. Fantastic. <laughs> Ruby's saying, who, who's that man? Ruby, don't you know Steve-O? Steve-O is a resident in, in at Isle of Wight. Do you, do you live in Rice, Steve-O? I live in Sandown area. Sandown, right, okay. Right. Put, uh, Ruby is one of our viewers who moved to the Isle of Wight recently, and she lives 11 minutes walk away from me. Okay. Can you believe it? Yeah, so <laughs> oh, wow. there we go. But I'm not there, so she can't see me. No, that's it. Anyway, we can't see each other because we're not allowed. Um, anyone got the lottery numbers? Somebody's asking. No. Um, right. Has anyone ever won the free postcode lottery? Yes, Andrew, I have. And I have. Um, Yes, and I what I did, I gave mine to charity because it was it was fairly early on when I was doing it, and um, I won ten pounds, but I got quite a bit of I got about twenty pounds in bonus. You know, you can get the bonus money if you check in every day. You get extra pennies add up. Do you do that, Steve? Yeah. Do you check in? Yeah, and and I had got about twenty pounds, and I. Um, or, or I don't know, no, I, whatever it was, I ended up with £30 because they, dub, they doubled it if you gave it to charity. And since I'd never paid anything to do it, I gave it away to charity and they doubled it. Oh, wow. So that was good. That's good. That's good, yeah. Yeah. But I say, if anybody yeah, wants so. to um, watch what we do, then obviously we've got two pages. We've got the, um, the we've got my Facebook page, which is Stevo, S-T-E-V-O, and then Hull, as in H-U-L-L. You can follow that one. I'll tell you what, let's ask if somebody will put that in. If somebody can find Steve O Hull Facebook page, put the link in. They're very good like this. And then the other the one link. is uh, the Steve O and Kai page, which is our main one, which um, basically will we'll follow everything on that one. So you've got the Steve O and Kai right. page, which is the main one, uh, which is a good one. Right. So if you, somebody can find Steve O and Kai and put it in. Um, Ruby's saying hello to you now. Hi, Ruby. Now she knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, right. Carol's okay. singing Chick, 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 Chicken. Um, chick, 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 Chick. Let chick, me see. Chicken. Oh, that's because Yvonne's knit, Yvonne is knitting chicks, and Yvonne will be knitting chicks for Morrison's. And they, they are the chicks that the little, you know, the cream eggs? Yeah. Do you like Cadbury's cream eggs? They, they ask us to knit the chicks, and then they put put the eggs in them and sell them for Click Sergeant, Click Sergeant Cancer Charity, the children's charity. Okay. So we did loads. We did loads last year. Actually, we did loads of the year before. Mine from last year are in my flat because we couldn't get them to Morrison's because, of course, suddenly we weren't allowed to, you know, you know, the pandemic hit and all that. So they're in a, they're in a box in my flat and I'm hoping my brother will get them and donate them to Morrison's this year. Otherwise, they'll go next year. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, I do like the broadcast when you do, you and Richard. It's, it's amazing. You know, you, you bounce off of each other and it's really good. We do, yes. And, you know, as you build your audience up, it will be, you know, you'll be able to do that. That's why I hopped in. I hoped I would encourage other people to come in. That's but the they thing. Didn't. It's, Did get, they? it's getting people to, to come in. I mean, they, I think people are scared to what they're going to say or whatever, but it's, it's just... You just got, you just got to be, you know, just like we are now talking. It's, it's, and it's so nice because you can just feel free. It's like having a chat or a cup of tea, you know. Well, you could do that. Yeah. You, and that's what it is. It is. It's just like, it's just yes. It's just, uh, you know, if people just think, oh, well, I'm just only talking to Steve-O and forget that everybody else is watching, yeah. then it's not so scary. Um, Kath's daughter's, Kath's daughter's boyfriend's mum. Oh my goodness, that's a bit of a one won 50,000 last month on the postcode lottery wow. but that will be the paid postcode lottery uh, but yeah but I won uh, how much did I won I won oh not as much as that I won 1500 on the original lottery when it was very early on and I've never won anything since right, <laughs> on that I'm, oh actually I, that's not true 
I think I had a £10 win. Oh, and this week, I did, because this huge jackpot on the Euro Millions, I did it on, on, um, on Tuesday or whatever day it was, and I did it, and I didn't know if my son was going to get his ticket done, so I bought a second ticket for him, because I know he was barking his little one. And I won on the second ticket, but it was only £4.50, and it went straight back into my account, <laughs> so he didn't get the book. <laughs> £4.50. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Oh, well. So let's... Oh, Ailey's doing her Scottish joke again. Um, and you're not to answer this, Steve-o, but she's put, the, she's put it there anyway. So um, what do you call a rabbit with a kilt on? Answer, yeah, a hopscotch. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see the kilt. I mean, obviously, you can see the comments, so I can't see them, so yeah. Can you not? No, I don't know how that... I mean, obviously, my, my phone's the other way around. So I, don't I didn't... I didn't think I could see them, I would be able to see them when I was on your broadcast, but I did. But we had our phones the other way round because you were, you were broadcasting that way, so I had to switch my phone round. Right, like that's that. probably why then, yeah. My, I saw them that way, but I, can't, I can see them, but I've got them, I've got a tablet down here. Ah, oh, there well. you go, that's probably why see. then, yeah. I've got them up here as well, but, okay. um, and, and, and Facebook is telling me umpteen times that Steve O'Hall is watching. <laughs> Well, there you go, look. See, I keep flashing up. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. <laughs> Kath says she doesn't know there's a free postcode lottery. Well, hang on, Kath. I will put a link up. I will ref I do a referral because it help. It, you know, it adds a little bit. It adds a little bit to my pot if I ever win. <laughs> like 20p, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, see? It's joking. All those 20p's add up in the bonus, you know? So, um, Did they find the go. links all right? Are they, are they putting the links up or...? They, uh, um, hang on, did anybody put the links in? Have you found the links for, um, no, I might have to come on That's here. Right. And no problem, I'll do it. Well, I can't do it actually on there. If, can you do it? I don't think when I can. When you go out, when you go, when I come out, I'll come back. Shift. When I come off of this, I'll put it in, yeah. Yeah, when, okay. when we finish, I'll when we finish chatting, right. you'll put it in. Um, so, uh, Yes, yes. I so I had I had a win on the big lottery and on that, but um, um, and then I did a scratch card last year and I got forty pounds on the wow. scratch card. I don't do very much. I don't spend very much on it. No. I just do it every now and then, you know. So there we go. Oh, there we are. Adrian's found you. Um, oh, is that Stevo dot TV one? Is that you? Stevo dot TV one. One. Um. I no. Is that your link? Oh, you can't see, can you? Adrian's put... Stevo.tv. Yeah. Stevo.tv, it should be. Yeah. That's the website. It's there. He, he's, put, he's put that... Um, he's put your Facebook page in there. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's me. I don't, right. know, I don't know, I can't see it, so I hope it's me. Yeah. Um, if it's a page free for... How, right. <laughs> now, um, somebody's asking how we know each other. How do we know each other? When did we meet? We've met so many times that I can't yeah. I think we probably met, um, I'm not sure if it's show-wise or job-wise. Um, oh, I know. I, I, I was a giggly granny. Yes. I used to be the giggly granny with another granny. Yeah. Remember, we used to do things. And I think I probably met you around the town then. Didn't yes, I? exactly. I, I, can't, I think you stopped and chatted to us or something. Yeah. We met so many times, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. We probably, yes, yeah. Selfies and all that stuff. <laughs> Remember those. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've we've. How long do you? That's years, isn't it? Years that's got to be a yeah. That's got to be a few years ago now. Definitely. Yes. Because I say. Probably about five, six years. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. I'll see if I can find any reference to it Thanks. way back. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Uh, Janice has just come in the broadcast. Hello, Janice. Um, oh, wonderful. Crystal's just ordered. You know, I was talking on your broadcast about how I'm helping to share the Isle of Wool and, and Stitching okay. Elmers. Crystal's just ordered some wool from Isle of Wool. Oh. Got purple, my favourite colour. <laughs> She's, yeah, so um, there we go. Hazel's saying good morning, better late than never. But of course, Hazel's saying good morning because Hazel lives in Australia. So she's coming. Good there we morning. go. We have Australia in the house. We've got Canada in the house. I think we've got, um, I think we've got US in the house. We've got Scotland. Look you know, we've got all over. I love it. 
<laughs> uh, there we go so let's have a look um right so kath i will send you the link to the free postcode lottery afterwards i'll put it okay. up on the in the go live granny group now andrew's talking about some cakes here do you like cakes steve love cakes what's your favorite victoria sponge or bread and butter pudding i know bread and butter pudding is not a cake but it, i love that sort of stuff no but it, it's, it's yeah i um I don't know what's my favourite. I learned to make Victoria Sponge my first, one of my first cookery lessons at school. Um, but he's he's found Andrew's saying he's finally found the little moon cakes today in Asda. Has anyone else tried them? They are all right. Little squishy cakes, okay. strawberry ones and chocolate ones, and they are very popular due to TikTok apparently. Of course, Kai uh, Steve O's son has been on TikTok very popular recently, hasn't he become? He is so popular. Um his ratings have gone out the window um, and he's been spotted by so many people in the TikTok world. And I mean, I don't just mean um, general public people. I mean like famous people that have picked him up on him and he, he contacts them. Um, one of them is um, Darcy who won the Americans Got Talent uh, in 2012, I believe it. He contacts her. Um, and another one called JJ Soul, or whatever her name is, American singer type. Yeah, so he, he's been picked up quite a lot and he's done really, really well. Well, I have to tell you, some of our community are responsible for helping a little bit because Definitely. we did all share the other day. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he I had a competition and you kindly shared that out. Um, and I think I did a plug where he only had 800, feet, 800 followers and we did a plug and that shot right up um, and we got him to 1K. And, and I think from as from today, um, he's now gone over the 4K limit which is really amazing. Excellent. I'm um I'm not doing much. I did, I have got a TikTok account, but I haven't haven't been on it for ages. I went on, you know, just to see what it was about. Haven't done much with it. Just went on the other day for him, you know. Um, so there we go. Okay. Um, oh, Kim's in New York, USA. We've got New York in. Um, we've got PA USA here. Becky's in P P PA. What's PA? PA. Um, now it's taxing me. I've forgotten what that would be. Um, I don't know. Um, PA. Um, Ailey wants the TikTok link. Tell him to send his TikTok link across. Okay. TikTok link would be um, magic underscore Kai. Pennsylvania, it was. PA is Pennsylvania. Ah, ah Dracula. Yeah. So say that link again and somebody might write it in for it's us. It's magic underscore Kai. Right, if some whizzy person in here could put that in, people can go find his TikTok account. Oh, Tracy's in the house. Hello, Tracy. Tracy is in East Cows. <laughs> um, I presume she is. That's where she lives. <laughs> I don't okay. suppose she's gone very far. And I believe it's her twin's 18th birthday tomorrow. Is it tomorrow, Tracy? Because if it is, we'll have to do happy birthday again, Steve. Happy birthday again. Yeah. Right. Remind me of the twins' names. I should know them, and I've totally forgotten because I'm just caught unaware. So, Tracy, let us know. It's, I think it's tomorrow. I think, and it's their 18th birthday tomorrow. 18th. Um, so let's. Um, 18th birthday. Okay, let's let me just see. Fire this up. <laughs> Let's get it fired up. But I, I'm waiting for um, for Tracy to say, to answer, see if she'll answer me. I don't know. Anyway. Right, we're almost, there we go. Happy birthday song. Okay. Right, okay. If somebody could just ask Tracy if she's not, she might have popped in and popped out again. Um, oh, here we are, Magic. Oh, she's just, she's put your link in. Um, Magic Kai, they put your link in, excellent. Um, so Tracy, let me know the twins' names, and we'll do a happy birthday to them. Um, you, they it? have been very good. The, the Tracy's family are very good at helping out okay. in the Go Live we'll go, go, community go. garden. Go right, we're going to do a so special there. one. We're going to do a special happy birthday here. Miss Google's out the way. Absolutely. Right, come and sit down, Kai. <laughs> we're going to do we're going to do a three one here, and we'll do four of us here. Here we go. Three of right, us. Right, I'm just I'm just trying to just trying to get their names. Uh, right. 
Busy Blowing Balloons, Rachel and Stephen, 18 tomorrow. So here we go. Oh, right. Oh, look. Hello. look at this. this doesn't happen very often, does it? So mm. I, will, I was going to put the bubble machine on. I will put the bubble machine on, but I won't sing because I can't hear you singing if I've got the bubble machine. Right, here we go. All right. Okay. So don't forget, it's Rachel and Stephen. Rachel and Stephen. All right. Okay. Big loud voices. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Rachel and Stephen, happy birthday to you. Here we go one more time. Have a super birthday. Excellent. Excellent. We hope you have a wonderful Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen and Rachel. Rachel. I spun it. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, you. to you. Have a fantastic <laughs> birthday. Enjoy yeah. yourself tomorrow. Right. Tracy's been blowing up lots of balloons. There we go. Obviously, not the 18th birthday they probably originally would have planned, but I'm sure they will have a wonderful time nonetheless. Even more so because we've sung to them, you know? I know, it's been brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. there we go. Uh, right, so excellent. Lots of birthdays. Hi, Marcus, coming in there as well. Um, oh, there we are. Andrew's dropping your, your link, your TikTok link. Thank in, you. Um, in there. Um, Tegan likes the puppet. What is the puppet's name? Old Man Oakley. <laughs> this is Old, Old Man, Man Oakley, yeah. Um, Kai's had it how, how long? Since June last year. Since June last year. Um, he's got this one. He's got Roger the Rabbit. Um, but yeah, this is the special. This is the best special one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that man. Uh, so there we go. Lots of birthday wishes coming in. There's some balloons coming in and all sorts of things. Awesome. Lots of love com coming in. Lots of likes. Ruby's there on the likes. I can see. Lots and lots. So. Okay. Well, I'll um, let you carry on and bring somebody else in if you like. Have you eaten yet? No. I'm going to go and get a drink. <laughs> I know, two and a half hours later, I was going to get some food and drink, and I thought, no, I'm going to go and get something to eat and a drink, and, gonna, um, you, and I'll, I'll come back in the talk. you your black pudding? I don't know yet. I might have that tomorrow now. <laughs> 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 I'll probably take that tomorrow night. <laughs> Tracy reckons that's your twin there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, good luck with your TikTok business, um, Kai, you. and all the success that's coming out of that. Thank you, Steve-O, for joining us. And um, shall I kick you out or are you going to go yourself? Shall I push the button? Yeah, you push the button. Goodbye, everyone. It's I'll nice eject, to see you all. Uh, eject a button. I'm going to eject you now. Eject me off <laughs> the seat. So that's much. it. See you later, everyone. Bye. That's it. Watch out. Bye. Bye. There we go. So, folks, that was lovely to have Steve-O and Kai in the broadcast. Um, I hope that's given you a little bit of entertainment. Steve-O and Kai are entertainers anyway. And, uh, you know, uh, Steve-O started, he was live streaming at half past seven and he was still live streaming at ten. And I, t I went in his broadcast as a guest and I said to him he had to be finished by ten and then he could come in my broadcast as a guest. So I'm glad you enjoyed that and that was fun. Would the old man puppet like to meet Trixie? What do you think? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder whether he'd like to watch Trixie. But um, yes, Kai and Steve are great entertainers. And so we'll share more of the fun of, um, of what they get up to. And um, a bit of a Friday night entertainment. Brilliant. I'm glad that you enjoyed it, Maria. I thought it would be fun. I didn't know the old man was going to join us too, but that's good fun. Trixie, Granny, Known, Bertie and the old man, Oki, <laughs> could have a party one time after lockdown. They certainly could, Andrew. I don't know. I think the puppets are going to have more fun than we are at this rate. Oh dear. I've, uh, when I blew the bubbles, oh, they've gone on my knitting pattern. Oh no, I have to dry my knitting pattern off. So um, some of you have been knitting away at the cardigan the pattern that I um, did. Uh, thank you for all the singing and the wishes. Were they around, Tracy? If not, you'll have to make them watch the replay. Um, and we do wish them a very, very happy 18th birthday. 
Um, hopefully they'll have a, a brilliant time, even though the conditions are quite not quite what they might have wanted. But I'm sure they're going to have a fantastic family day. Take lots of pictures, get lots of you know video, make all those lovely memories. Um, you probably missed it. You went for takeaway lunch today at Kiva's. Um, what did you miss? Sorry. Uh, they were both listening. Excellent. Um, what did? I don't know. Uh, probably missed it. I don't know what you missed, um, Ruby. What did you miss? I can't see what you reckoned you missed. Um, but uh, you've been for a takeaway lunch at Kiva's. And um, what I'm going to ask Ruby to do, I'm going to ask Ruby to be my roving reporter, like she has been in the past. For the Isle of Wight live page, we really need to get lots more activity going on there for the local businesses now, you know, and get people supporting them more. Um, but because I'm not on the island, I can't um, I can't actually be any fit in physical locations, which um, you know I probably wouldn't anyway because I'd be home. Um, oh, you missed the comment, sorry. And um, and so um, I'm going to ask Ruby when she goes to Kivas next time to do a live stream from there. No, to to come into the broadcast. We could we could do a live stream on the Isle of Wight live page and get some action going there. And um, we can, I'm going to, I want to interview a lot of Isle of Wight businesses. So if you know any of the local businesses where people were happy to jump on camera, just like Steve-O did, it would be great to get them lots more publicity. But again, again, I'm going to do a lot of it over on the Isle of Wight live page because of their Isle of Wight businesses. Beautiful sunny day and yummy food. Excellent. It's been a sunny day here and I've had yummy food. Um, cooked for me of course um, but you know I don't know when I'll be traveling home we're sort of trying to make plans now um, for after lockdown starts easing um, so that I will get home eventually I haven't moved away from the island permanently just got caught in the lockdown um, so today been a bit of a not so much knitting day more of a bit of a chilling out day I was very tired today <laughs> I'll tell you I was tired um, I woke up to use the facilities in the night, like I often do, too much information I know, and I noticed that my son was in his office in the wee small hours. He'd been to bed and then he was, you know, in his office. And um, about two or three hours later, I was out again and he was still there. And you know, if I didn't know he'd been in his office, it wouldn't have been a problem, but I didn't start. Consciously, I wasn't worried at all. Consciously, I thought, you know what? He can't sleep, so he's doing something on his computer. But subconsciously, I went into the worry mode of mum, mum worrying, you know? And so when I went back to bed, I couldn't get to sleep either because my subconscious brain was worrying about it. When I checked with him this morning, there was nothing wrong, just that he couldn't get back to sleep. So there we go. But, you know, as, um, as my daughter in law said, mums never stop worrying if i don't know these things that i wouldn't have worried i don't know why i certainly didn't worry about it consciously because all i thought was oh he can't sleep he's just gonna you know amuse himself till he gets tired <laughs> he did admit he had a coffee late too late at night so that's probably all it was um right so kezi kindness are doing lots of raffles on the page to support all the island local businesses and help them keep going so um i think I think that uh, Tracy, some of you should come into, you know, you or the kids or, or um, somebody come in and um, talk to us on broadcast about the Keswick Kindness. You know, we'll plan it. I won't spring it on anybody now, but it would be really good if in one of the broadcasts, especially on the Isle of Wight live page, get lots more of the local people really knowing a lot more about the Keswick Kindness charity. So for any of you who don't know, Tracy is a great supporter and a great doer um, and fundraiser um, and her family and they support a charity called Kesey Kindness and it's in it's in memory of a little girl a, a gorgeous little girl who used to smile I mean I didn't know her but I know of her and um, she is no longer with us so in her memory they are raising lots of money and helping lots of children to smile who might not otherwise be very happy for their circumstances they are doing an amazing job um, so the, the, they're based you know um, the base is down in, in um, East Cowles 
but uh, you know it is anybody anywhere can buy tickets for their charity events and um, I think we, we you know I, I certainly have some plans to make some things that you could refer later on and um, I'll have a chat with you sometime Tracy about that um, but they do they um, they do they do these raffles and they'll have a prize and they they will sell I think about hundred pounds worth of tickets something like that I think that's how it works isn't it Tracy and when they sold all the tickets then they do the um, then they do the raffle and Ruby before she came to live on the island she was very generous and bought quite a few raffle tickets and before she came to the island she won and I had to hang on to her prices until she came and visited the island um, so right uh, um, yes, the money raised. Kathy's asking if the money raised is um, is for people local to the island. Yes, I, th um, I believe so. at the moment it is. Yes, and I don't know whether they have plans to expand, but it is for children on the island. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look. Um, Kay Ailey's getting her gra garden and grass cut tomorrow. Excellent. Um, if somebody has somebody put the link into the page where you can buy the raffle tickets, that would be really good. If somebody could jump in there and do that um right let's have a look kezi khan is doing lots of that oh there we are lots lots of that's it lots of raffles on our page to support all the island local business oh you're doing it for the local businesses and help them go sorry i missed that comment um, so they're now helping um to help the local businesses who are all very much suffering um so there we go um and let's have a look that's brilliant. That's brilliant news. And obviously we can keep on, um, you know, supporting and sharing, sharing the news because it's people can support from anywhere. You don't have to live on the island to support. I'm not quite sure if the, what, about the prizes, uh, you know, how they would get to you. But um, Tracy will probably um, let us know about that. I don't know. Um, right. Kiva's Cafe looks yummy. Chips good, looks good. <laughs> there we go right let's i'm missing some of the comments here so if somebody can put the link into the kezi kindness page that would be great um Kath saying what a lovely um garden Ailey has she remembers from photos last year and Ailey says it's been good to get the garden done and grass cut won't it be good to get my garden done and of course um, when we are out of this situation when i can actually get home and then when i start doing my garden of course there is a there is a there is a project that tracy and her family are going to help me with in the garden and we will live stream it when it happens and some of you have contributed to that but we'll we'll do it we'll talk about it when it happens because uh, that's sometime in the future hopefully not too far away i have been looking at plants from care in the garden and um various places and if I see some nice plants I want to buy from the local charities then I'll buy them and Ruby is going to look after them. Ruby has very kindly said she will look after some of them because I don't want to miss the great bargains that are going on. Night night um, Tiga. Tegan's going to bed she's tired and she's hurting so lots of love Tegan. Dan's come in hello Dan nice to see you in the broadcast um, let's have a look good luck everyone with raffles um, here we go um, Kath has donated before through PayPal, she thinks it was, and she will do it again, well done. We have such a supportive community here, um, so that's absolutely brilliant. Yes, all the money helps local Ireland. We have done six Mother's Day cream teas this week from Ireland Business. Uh, if anyone wants any more details, please feel free to message Tracy. So there we are, Tracy's there. If you want to know, message Tracy. Please, come on folks, do let's keep supporting. It's just amazing. Um, you know this would be great Lynn when you can come and sit and have a cup of tea in your garden won't it be fantastic Ruby I am looking forward to it very much um, so hopefully you know it won't be too much in the future but obviously we all got to obey the rules um, I was listening to the um, to Matt Hancock doing the, the government review tonight and one of the things that they are emphasizing is even though they're starting to ease off we must still obey the rules and keep very safe and not suddenly you know think oh well it doesn't matter if we break the rules it does matter if we break the rules and we must stick with those rules until we are told it is safe to do otherwise um 
it's just fundraising activities look like fun to do as well as for a fantastic cause absolutely uh, we also do raffles on easter eggs and things from amazon so if i win we can if you win we can deliver anything from amazon or, oh yes oh so so not if you win if <laughs> not if you win tracy i think you mean if anybody in the group wins they can send the prizes via amazon which you know um, and that's why we don't mind supporting amazon sometimes obviously if we if we can we support the local charities but sometimes there's a need to do it via amazon as well it is teagan o'clock isn't it um yvonne uh, so there we are she's gone off now um so don't forget folks uh, you, oh wait a minute, you fundraised and made up 100 Christmas Eve bags and gave them to the food bank. That was brilliant, absolutely brilliant news. I expect those were so well received. Even more so this year where life has got lots more difficult for lots of families. Uh, Paul's got his jab on Tuesday. Well, we wish you well with that, um, Paul. Hopefully, that will be, hopefully you'll be like me and get no symptoms. But, um, you know, we wish you well anyway. It's a good thing to do. Um, and loads and loads of people are coming forward to have their jabs and they've done so i can't remember all the figures i was listening to the figures of people who'd come forward and now of course they're coming down to the 40 age group which of course my son is in the, and my daughter-in-law are in that group so then they're coming to that group soon and oh and my all my children are in that group um so you know it's just good that they're making such fantastic progress i mean people have been very critical of the government but you know our scientists are fantastic and they've done such a fantastic job on the vaccine rollout and of course i had my vaccination two weeks ago tomorrow so apparently it takes two weeks before you're properly protected so i'm just coming up to the two weeks so you know but i'm not going out anyway much well i went to the park i've been to the park twice since i've been here <laughs> been here about eight weeks now can't remember can't remember how many weeks <laughs> but um yes amazing feat tracy and kath says absolutely wonderful so you're doing a fantastic job glad you're able to pop back into the broadcast tracy we have missed you but i know you've been very very busy on all the amazing work you're doing um three weeks lynn to be sure not two three, three weeks so What's three weeks? Sorry, I um, three weeks until you. What did I did I say something that I can't remember what what? Just repeat. Just sorry, clarify that, Kath, because I can't remember what I said and what we were talking about. I know that I've been oh three weeks, three weeks. Okay, until you're until you're protected from the thing. They, oh, I thought it was two weeks, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Um, You've been out on your walks, but the amount of people still using public transport is ridiculous. Absolutely. Um, that's not good, is it? Not good at all. Um, so I wouldn't want to be on public transport at the moment. I look forward to it again when I can, when I can go knitting and knitting and, and travelling on the bus like I used to. Um, right. Has anyone heard from Richard lately? Hope he's okay his brother is in the broadcast tonight so he will probably give us um, a little bit of an update there um so uh, his his brother put a link in earlier um so they perhaps they're just watching from afar you know some people sometimes like to sit back um, depending on circumstances what's going on in people's lives sometimes people like to sit back and just watch and not actually interact much but we do wish him well and just come in hello Anne. Anne used to live on the island and now i believe she's in spain aren't you Anne? Um, used to be part of my network group she and her husband and um networking you know networking is what we did uh, just you know networking networking is what we still do still promoting people's businesses um right yes so Kat's asking marcus where are you coming in from so marcus let us know a little bit more about you uh, you're one of our new uh, our new viewers um oh he's there we are adrian's put there we are adrian is richard's brother and he says he's been working late shifts till 8 p.m recently so he's probably eating and uh, you know or perhaps getting you know quite tired when he gets in so that's probably why he hasn't felt like coming into the broadcast but i'm sure adrian you're keeping him up to speed 
on things that are going on. Um, Ruby's saying that Ride was packed today and it's rather worrying. Uh, you actually know two people that went to to local or Audis and they contracted COVID from in there. That was the only place they had been. Oh dear, that's that's not good, is it? That's sad. Um, 14 people per bus if you're waiting on a bus and a bus turns up you don't get on if there's 14 people already on the bus i didn't know what is that a scot a rule for scotland or is that a rule for everywhere i'm not quite sure so it is scary but as i say i'm not going anywhere anytime until it's okay for us to go in. marcus is coming in from shropshire nice to have shropshire represented um right okay Yvonne was just checking that he was okay and it's that's what I like about this community you all keep an eye on each other and if you see that somebody's not been in the broadcast you always want to check up that it's okay um, that they are okay so give him, give him our good regards Adrian and say that he was being asked after he's been missed but um, no compulsion to come in the broadcast until it's at the right time Ruby was saying perhaps the people contracted it from the shopping. Um, Ruby washes her with soapy water always. Yes, and all our, all our, everything coming into this house, all the shop, food shopping and um, that is, is um, washed coming in here with soapy water. All the parcels are quarantined for three days. Um, that was what the research said. Keep them, so we don't, you know, when I order my wool, as you know, I don't open the parcel for three days. Um, I had a I had a, a parcel from World of Books, um, and that's just past quarantine. It's been three days, so we opened it today. And in the, I should have brought them to you. I've um, I've got a book on the moon because my granddaughter's loving the moon at the moment. She had a story about um, a little girl who wanted her daddy to give her get the moon for her, and she's been obsessed by the moon. I made her a little moon, a knitted little knitted moon and um, she absolutely loves it so i bought on the moon which is a book in a series of some that she's already got <coughs> um there we go um all our local buses they take off every other seat well that sounds like a great idea cat in hertfordshire but she knows shropshire from canal boating days oh that sounds fun uh, thank god for your mobility scooter you would be lost without it i'm sure you would um so Marco, you used to live where in Shropshire or um or in Hertfordshire? Not quite sure. So anyway, um small world, absolutely very very small world. You know, um once uh, we never as a family we never went to, um we mostly went to holidays in this country and I can remember being on a totally des well it was a totally deserted beach can't remember where in the country it was probably Devon or something like that it was a totally deserted beach um, and then all of a sudden a family came the other way <laughs> and it was somebody's family who was a colleague of my dad's in his, off in his office in the civil service you know um, and uh, it's just amazing isn't it that you can you can bump into people like that when you you know you think you're on a deserted beach there we go. You share a canal boat with four other people. That sounds like fun. Huh? Um, so there we go. So what ha what have uh, the moon book sounds good. I tell you what, I'll bring the moon book next week and I'll read it to you as a bedtime story. I, I think it's probably gone up. Um, I think she probably had it again as a bedtime story tonight. I don't think it's, I can't, see. wait a minute. No, I can see it. I think it's here. Hang on. You're now supposed to have a week worth of lovely sunshine on the island this week. Excellent. Let me get the moon book. I can. I could see it. It was just sitting over on the on the sofa. And in fact, I got two books from World of Books. So this is on the moon. And this one is this little puffin. And they both came from World of Books, so they were both um, bargain books, second-hand books, but they look almost brand new. There doesn't seem to be anything much wrong with them, but World of Books, you know, it's a great place to get your books. So I googled 
no, I, I searched in World of Books to find them. This little puffin, I had a version many, many, many years ago in, um, in my teaching career, and it's got lots of finger rhymes and nursery rhymes and all sorts of things, and I was talking about it to my daughter-in-law, and um, then I thought, oh, I wonder if I can still get a copy. This is a very updated copy. I mean, they've got things like Diwali and things like that in here, so that it's very much modernised since the copy. I still got my my second copy. I bought a copy and I wore it out in my early days of teaching. It fell to bits, so I bought a new copy. So I've still got my copy from my teaching days. Um, it has a different cover on it, but um, the treasury of nursery rhymes, songs and games. So I might read from you to the other time, but I'm going to read this. So um, in this city, the Osborne books, I used to sell these. And um, there's one, we've got the windy day, we've got um, the rainy day and the snowy day. I don't know if it tells you in the back here. Oh, I don't know. Night, night, Tracy, speak to you soon. Um, no, it hasn't got the pictures in here of the other ones. Oh, she's got on the farm she's got about four or five of them but there are a whole load in this series so i'm going to watch out and get some more for her but this is on the moon so this is your bedtime story and when i've read this you've all got to go to bed those no you haven't all got to go to bed because some of you are at the beginning of your day <laughs> those of you in the uk um, should be going to bed after this so this is on the moon and it's by anna milbourne the moon is very far away i'll read it and then i'll show you what do you think it would be like to go there? Look, the, beauty, the pictures are beautiful. Um, and um, Maria's saying that it, the, the, um, the moon's beautiful tonight. Hang on, let's just let's go back. Tracy, you're supposed to have a week. Oh, lovely sunshine, excellent. Not on the canals at the moment, though. No, you're not on the canals at the moment. Lovely big bright moon tonight. I haven't looked out, actually. A few people have been to the moon. Astronauts went there to see what it was like. If you went to the moon, you'd be an astronaut too. Can you see? I hope you can see the pictures. To get to the moon, you have to go in a huge rocket. Four, five, four, three, two, one, lift off. The astronauts sit in a tiny cabin at the very top. There we go. Yes, Miss Teacher. Who's that saying, yes, Miss Teacher? <laughs> hey, uh, can I all have some food now? Thank you. Oh, bye, uh, Steve. I'm glad you've had them. Um, you're going to have some food, or you have had some food, because you'll be quite hungry, I'm sure. Anyway, um, Right. Did it, did nobody put the link in to the Kesi Kindness page? Uh, Ruby's saying nobody's put the link in. So if somebody could drop the link for the Kesi Kindness page, that would be wonderful. Right. The rocket flies into space. There's nothing but stars and darkness all around. It takes four whole days to reach the moon. Where is there? You would volunteer to go to bed, but you're ready. Nighty night. Night, Kim. When you get there, you climb into a little spaceship. It flies down and down and lands gently on the moon. To go outside, you have to put on a spacesuit. There is no air on the moon. Spacesuits carry air so that you can breathe. When I put the book up, I can't see if I've got it in on camera shot. <laughs> there we go. The moon is silent, empty and dusty. There are huge mountains and big holes, but there are no trees or water, no animals or people. Thanks for all the love coming in. I think that's Kathy sending lots of love, I think. On the moon, you feel very light and floaty. When you walk around, you take big bouncy strides you can jump really far much further than you can at home there we go i hope you're enjoying this bedtime story folks 
Astronauts sometimes go exploring in moon buggies. They collect moon rocks to bring back home. They take photos to show people at home what the moon looks like. <laughs> Yvonne's ordered some books from the Hurt Books on Search Press. I was looking on there the other day, Yvonne. I haven't pressed the button yet. <laughs> if I'm going to press the button, I'll let you know because I'll have them delivered to the island. Um, so let's have a look. Um, astronauts put a flag on the moon to show they have been there. You can see our world from the moon. It looks tiny because it is so far away. Whoops. When it's time to go, the astronauts blast off for home. The moon is left almost as it was before, apart from a flag and a buggy and some footprints in the dust. Somebody says, is Sarah okay, Lynn? I wonder if she's tired. She's been at work. She might be tired. I have, didn't have a message from her. I don't think I had a message from her. I didn't see a message coming. I bet she's fallen asleep, probably. <laughs> because she's very tired but that's okay that's not a problem I see Linda in and Janet in lovely to see you I don't know if you've been there ages but if I didn't say hello to you I apologize do you think you'll ever go to the moon and this is we were asking my little daughter, my granddaughter that she's not yet two but she absolutely loves that that's the end of it that's the end look at all the there's the moon um, the dish ran away with the spoon absolutely um she absolutely loves these i mean she's not yet two she's not two till may but she really is quite advanced with her you know her understanding because her mummy and daddy have spent so much time um you know input on those sort of things um so did the cow really jump over the moon and the dish ran away with the spoon who knows who who knows i have no idea <laughs> Well, Hazel does. She said, yes, they did, really. <laughs> so there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed the, um, the little bit of nighttime reading. I'm going to go and have a good night's sleep tonight because I didn't sleep, you know, you know as much of it, um, as uh, last night as I do usually do. Um, I woke up. I didn't have to get up when I did. I could have laid on, but I, w I woke up and then I, my granddaughter was in my room and we were playing with all my lovely coloured headbands. You know my coloured headband. She absolutely loves looking at colours and matching colours. Yesterday she was playing with all my wool on the bed. Um, and today it was the headbands. Uh, at some stage she'll probably match the headbands to the wool, I should think. So anyway, folks, thank you so much. It is about quarter past 11. Sorry, I was just looking at the clock in the kitchen. So I think it's probably time that... Uh, we wound up especially those of us here in the uk who perhaps need to get to bed uh, lovely to have all our international viewers coming in thank you if you shared the broadcast we do get more and more viewers coming in we, oh there we are look sarah's just woken up just on cue sarah you were missed somebody was asking after you and i said you'd probably fall asleep because you've been to work and you've probably been very busy and got very tired so lovely to see you just pop in there at the end everybody else is now saying night night um, so um, hopefully you'll have everybody will have a lovely weekend don't forget i'm not here tomorrow <laughs> so asleep tonight she is because she's been at work and that's why um yvonne that's lovely she says thank you for a lovely hour of your time lynn and everyone you're very welcome I enjoy it and you enjoy it. It's just great to get together, isn't it? So sleep well. I know I will sleep well. I am really tired. I think I won't get any trouble getting to sleep tonight. Um, but I have got a little treat waiting for me. My daughter and I put a little treat on the side. So I'm going to have a hot drink and I'm going to have my little treat that she's put there. Oh, Sarah's been up since six. Well, she did half, she did half a day's work before I got out of bed. <laughs> so anyway, I think... Was Dean, was Dean not in here at the beginning or was that last night he was in? Um, I'm not sure. He was in definitely in last night, but of course he's been working as well. Uh, Sarah said she saw Pauline in Asda, so that's twice in two days she's seen Pauline. 
Um, so that's good to know that she's okay as well. I'm going to say night night folks. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. Um, thanks for Steve-O and Kai for coming in the broadcast. And um, see you all on Monday night. And of course, I didn't get my cardigan done, which originally we were going to do by tonight. But actually, I'm taking my time. I don't want to, don't want to make mistakes. So I'll do it. I might have it on a Monday night. I might not. Who knows? Not going to really break my neck to do it. I'll do it in due course. Um, so yes, Sarah, Sarah served um, Pauline in the shop. So anyway, I'm going to say night night. Everybody, everybody's saying night night now. Thank you all for coming in. Janet saying good night. Patricia, Sarah, um, Yvonne, Steve O's still there watching. Um, so lovely. Ruby and Kath sending lots of love and hearts up the side. Love you lots. See you on Monday, God willing. For those of you who can make it, if you can't make it, then just make it when you can. We love to see you. Um, so night night in. Um, everyone's just asking Sarah if she's working on Sunday. Um, Andrew's been to B&M today and as to... Oh, I was going to ask a question before I go. The knitter's out there. I need to get another pair of needles. There's something I'm going to knit that I haven't got the right size needles for. Um, so I've got to get on Amazon. Who uses Knit Pro needles? And if so, do you like them? Or what would you recommend for a really good knit? I saw some good reviews on Amazon for the Knit Pro. Um, so I was just looking to see uh, what, what people thought. So I will just hang on a second or two to see if anybody's got any ideas about Knit Pro. But otherwise, I will ask again. Um, I might put a statement up on Facebook and ask about it. Hazel Navson, excellent. Um, somebody put in a review that, that, that it's actually smoother and easier to knit quicker. My goodness, they might catch fire. <laughs> so thank you for that, Hazel. Um, I, I, th so, I thought I'd give them a try anyway. Knit Pro are brilliant. Oh, there we are. Yvonne and Hazel have said it. That's it. Um, and Rachel uses them. They're brilliant. That's it. You've convinced me that they're what I would get. And do you know what? The ones I want are purple. <laughs> that's not why I want to buy them I want it, I needed them because one of the cardigans that I'm going to knit for my granddaughter I haven't got the sign I needed fours and four and a half and, and um, Yvonne very kindly sent me some fours in a parcel but I haven't got the four and a half so, oh how's my finger? my finger is actually much better thank you so much um, it's still a little bump there where it was sore but it's actually not sore now so thank you for asking that Kath um, and Sarah actually needs a big shout out and a clap. She had a good, um, what did she put? She's got a good report today in the book at work, which is where people can, um, you know, make comments about customer service. And Sarah's had several great comments going in the book. So well done, Sarah. Um, Patricia's got a pair of those needles and they are good. Excellent. Well, that's it, folks. I'm going to order some. So there we go. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and get a good night of sleep. But first, I'm going to have a hot drink and my little naughty treat. It's not a naughty treat. I think I deserve a treat. Um, and it's within my dietary, okay, you know. One finger, one thumb, keep me. <laughs> yes, on it. Right. Um, so there we go. Lots of love. Bye. See you soon. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy gardening if the weather's nice and some of you can get out into your garden. Um, it's great, uh, you know, it'll be great to be out in the fresh air if you can. Anyway, I'm going now. See you soon. Take care. Bye.